Hey, welcome back guys. We are in town for my father-in-law's birthday, so I want you to do me a big favor. Down in the comments, I want you to wish Don a happy birthday. Last week, we brought our trailer over to, <gasps> who's that? Last week, we brought our trailer over to the island. Here, got some light? And you can see that video right there. Right where? Right, right there. there. <laughs> That's right. So this this is our new trailer. And uh, we probably should have looked at it a little closer before we sent our old trailer over there because it didn't have any lights. So if you want to learn how to run the, your wiring through your trailer uh, chassis and, and then uh, do some splicing and wire up all your lights, then this is the video for you. Next week we've got another huge project. Uh, it's a big surprise, but uh, it's going to make our lives a whole lot more comfortable. And uh, it has to do with heat, so if you think you know what it is, drop us a comment and let us know what you think. Alright, let's get this project underway. Alright, first things first, let's see if this wire is loose here. We'll pull this old wire out. Oh, it does not seem to be loose at all. There we go. So let's get this wire out of here. This is half of the problem here. Problem solved. I had to get rid of all this because that all that wire was just corroded anyway so we got a fresh wiring harness and um, we're gonna see if we can use a fish hook to pull it through the frame if not then we'll have to do something else let's give it a go so this is what I was talking about with that little uh, what do they call this thing I don't know but it's rigid but it can I mean it's stiffer than trying to string wiring but it can it's also flexible so hopefully we can get this routed in and out of the frame so we can run this wire straight through it. There we go. All right, so we got the wire uh, done around that, that hook and taped up, and we're gonna pull her through. All right, so we got one side down. Let's go give the other side a shot. There we go. So same as the right side, we're gonna get these wires hooked up for the left side. I'm just gonna hook them through here, bend them back around on itself, and I'll throw some tape on them just to snug them down. I never used one of these before, so if you're uh, an electrician and I'm doing it wrong leave me a comment so the next time I have to do this I'll know the right way to do it but this way is working so I'm gonna keep doing it it seems pretty self uh, self-explanatory that's it so we got it all tied down now we just pull it through and watch it come out on the other side done then we'll just solder these ends up should be good to go Ooh, the 
baloney. And now my butt's wet. Well, can't stay dry forever. Since it's raining, we decided to bring the boat, as much of the boat as we could, inside the garage. And I uh, get my soldering iron uh, warmed up here and we'll get to soldering these things. Like I stated several times, I am no, uh, I am no electrician, but I'm going to show you how I solder things. And they hold out pretty good, so... I don't have any nice stripping wires, but I just try to strip them at the same the same length. Once I get them stripped, then I line them up, cut them to where I want them. Alright, and then here's a very important step you don't want to um, you don't want to skip is you want to get your heat shrink. If you're using heat shrink, I like to use it and put it over one of the wires before you solder them together. Because if you solder them before you put it on, it, you can't use it obviously. So, <laughs> see what I did there? What you don't want to do, you don't want to start soldering before you get your heat shrink on that'd be bad all right then you fan these little wires out hook them together give them a good twist all right and then I like to use these little alligator clips And that kind of affords me an extra hand and you can set them and bend them however you want. And then my soldering iron sucks and I'm, I guess I'm due to get a new one because it doesn't work for Jack. But we'll see what we can do here. And the, these little alligator clips really help. All I did was use some soldering iron clamp it on clamp it down on these two alligator clips and it holds the wire pretty steady for you you just want to put your soldering iron on the exposed wires and then give it some solder and you want to uh, basically you want to solder from above get the wires hot enough where the solder from above and, and uses gravity and goes down into and through all the wires but my solder iron sucks, like I said, so we'll see if that works here. It'd be nice if I could have this in the garage and um, have the door shut, but at least I'm not in the rain right now because that'd make it even worse. It's probably around 48, 49 degrees right now, so it's not freezing, but this little solder iron is having a a tough a tough go at getting this wire hot there we go that looks pretty good all right that looks pretty good then I give it a little stretch a pull on it make sure it's good got a little booger hanging off here And I just push down on these um, with these pliers. And 
put your heat shrink over it make sure it's centered inside there and then my father-in-law actually had a heat gun normally I just use a lighter but and that's it and the other thing I wanted to add was if you can if you can notice I, I stagger my splices out so they're not all all together making one big clump if you stagger them out then you when you run your you can run a roll of tape around them all together and it um, you don't have a big a big knot in your uh, in your wiring harness so we got one more to do and then we are done here now the thing is when you're using just some regular pliers to, to strip these uh, you want to make sure you, you're just stripping the 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 plastic cover off you don't you don't want to be pulling any wires out all right then when you're all said and done your wire should be pretty staggered and then I like to just run a, a strand of tape over it one of my wires was a little closer than I, than I thought You can get bigger heat shrink too, and um, you can get bigger heat shrink and put it over all three wires, and then just use that. But I don't have any of that bigger heat shrink. I only got this. And you got to make do with what you got. There you go. That's it. Then we connect our light. We'll push some of this extra extra wire back inside the frame there connect get our light all connected up and then uh, go on to the other side all right so we got everything back together I put the license plate back on and slide it through this little guy here now that we got it through there let's just snug this guy up Working close quarters here. There we go. All right, we'll get the nut on this one, and then we got to go over to the other side and finish that up. That, in a nutshell, is how you wire up your trailer. Um, that's also how you can run your wires through your uh, through your tubing there through the through the trailer frame. All right, so that's it. The wiring is fini. That's French. Finish? I think so. We try to bring you all things Alaska. Even when we're in town, we'll give you a little snippet of what's going on, a little glimpse into uh, what we're doing here. Um, but if you want to know more about our boat, uh, we made a video. I'll post it right here, and that'll let you know more about the, uh, the boat that we use here, uh, going back and forth to town, getting groceries and whatnot. And then I'm going to post another video that I thought you might like. We'll post it right down here. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you around. And uh, leave us a comment. Don't forget to wish Granddad a happy birthday. Say happy birthday, Don. And uh, yeah, leave us a comment. Let me know what you think. All right. We'll see you all next week.